Hey, what's up guys? This is Figgy from LTD. I'm here to talk to you about something new that we're bringing up to the table. Um, some similar uh, style of gameplay that you're used to, um, but we're calling it Jungle Ball. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go over some of the rules. Uh, it's basically going to be a team versus team uh, game, so 5 on 5. Uh, you will be allowed to have multiple team entries if you want, um, but you cannot substitute in between them. Um, so make sure you guys have those team rosters set before the tournament starts. Um, the game will be a set of rounds, so one set is the best of either three or five games um, depending on whether we are playing the actual tournament or just some of the practice rounds um, for you guys to get used to uh, the style of play. Um, so each round will be about five minutes. Um, the round is won by taking the center flag to the opponent's starting zone or eliminating all the players, right? So we're not going to be going through any point system where you guys are trying to have to worry about getting all the points right or referees um, counting everything. Just basically take the flag to their side or eliminate the entire team. Um, so uh, we'll have a couple head referees in charge. The referees will make sure uh, that they warn you before the game starts. Um, once the game starts, uh, each round is, like I said, five minutes uh, long. Uh, the center flag. So uh, those players who control the center flag uh, make sure that if you get hit, you drop it immediately where you are at. So if I get shot, drop it right where I'm at. Don't take it. Uh, make sure that you are carrying it in hand. All right. So you want to make sure that it stays visible. Um, you're not putting it inside a dump pouch or any kind of pouches. Just grab it in your hand um, and take it to the opponent's wall. All right. Uh, when you guys break out, it'll be basically what you guys are used to. Um, so one team on each end of the field, uh, guns pointed towards the wall and waiting for the referee to start it. It's going to be semi-only, um, as, uh, as usual. Uh, any type of gun is allowed as long as one trigger pull equals one shot. Um, so make sure that you guys get semi-locked or um, use only semi-type guns. Um, you guys can use mid-caps, um, no winding magazines, no drum mags or anything like that, but you can use unlimited amount of mid-caps. So if you guys want to bring 10, 20 mid-caps on you, that's fine. Um, just make sure you guys are going to be carrying all that. Um, no minimum engagement distance, no surrenders, no bang bangs, no melee weapons, none of that. Shoot each other point blank, feel free to do that. Um, no grenades, no lasers, regular 350 feet per second limit, that's about 1.14 joules, right? Um, the referee will control the countdown and basically let you know when the game starts. Um, they'll be calling out penalties, um, basically just assisting you all throughout the day. Um, they're here to help run things a little bit more smooth. Um, so hits. As any kind of tournament or just game plan in general is, we want to make sure everyone's calling their hits. So anywhere along your body, um, the only thing that doesn't count is gun hits and ricochets, but anywhere along your body, gear, anything like that, we want to make sure you guys are calling yourselves out. Um, dry fires don't count, so don't worry about that. Make sure you guys uh, don't dry fire. Uh, penalties. We want to make sure that penalties are enforced um, and enforced strictly. So uh, not calling your hit on the first penalty, the the team member will receive a penalty um, and the team as a whole will forfeit that round right so you automatically lose that round if any player on your team is caught not calling themselves out for whatever reason right the referees will keep an eye on that and they'll be the ones to make that call uh, any continued play after getting hit will result in a penalty so uh, you change with the player and for whatever reason you just keep on running and then eventually call yourself out or take out another player and then eventually call yourself out that's going to be considered a penalty. So as soon as you get hit, you need to stop playing. You just stop running, stop moving, call yourself out. Uh, second offense. So if you get called for a no call for a second time, that team is going to forfeit as usual, but then that player will just be done for the day. Right? We're not here to babysit. Um, we're not here to, to deal with no calls. So make sure you guys are calling yourself out. Or like I said, the second time you get called for a no call, you're just going to be done for the day. Uh, purposely moving a barrier is going to be considered a penalty. All right, so don't do that or you'll automatically lose uh, that set, uh, excuse me, that round. Um, so purposely moving, don't move any types of barriers. Um, and any attempt to talk to a player, say for example, a dead player trying to communicate with a live player, that's going to be considered a penalty. Um, and uh, each team will get a maximum of four penalties. So if you get, uh, say, two no calls, and then two other types of penalties, and the team will just be disqualified for the entire game, right? So we want to make sure that people are abiding by the rules. We're going to make sure that these rules are set in stone and that we're not changing them every single time. Um, and hopefully you guys will come out and enjoy it. This event will be hosted by Team LTD.